Okay, in this example, we're going to verify that the point 38 does not lie on the circle with this equation. Now, this is a relatively straightforward thing to do if we remember that the equation of the circle describes all of the points that are on that circle. And so all we need to do to verify this is to substitute the point 38 into this circle equation and show that it doesn't work. So when x equals 3 and y equals 8, the left hand side of this equation is going to become, or well, x squared becomes 3 squared, y squared becomes 8 squared, minus 4 lots of x, so minus 4 times 3, plus 6 lots of y, so 6 lots of 8, minus 20. Let's simplify this a bit. We're going to get 9 plus 64 minus 12 plus 48 minus 20. Now you can just put this into your calculator if you want, but it's fairly simple mental arithmetic. 64 plus 9, that would give us 73. 48 minus 12 is 36, minus the 20 is 16. So we're doing 73 plus 16, which gets us to 89. Therefore, the left hand side does not equal the right hand side because the right hand side is zero. And so if we sub a point into the circle equation and it gives us a left hand side that does not equal a right hand side, then that shows us that that point is not on the circle. So we can say 3, 8 does not lie on the circle. And that's all there is to verifying that a point is not on the circle. OK, in this example, we're going to show that the point minus 1 minus 5 does lie on the circle with this equation up here. Now, unlike the last example where the point didn't lie on the line, this time we should get the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation to agree with each other. So, when x equals minus 1 and y equals minus 5, the left hand side of this equation becomes minus 1 squared plus minus 5 squared plus 8 lots of negative 1 plus 2 lots of negative 5 minus 8. Let's simplify this. Minus 1 squared is 1. Minus 5 squared is 25. 8 times minus 1 is minus 8. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10, and then minus 8. So here we've got 1 plus 25 is 26. Subtract 8, that gets us to 18. Take 10, gets us to 8. Take away 8, gets us to 0. So in this case, the left hand side is 0, and the right hand side is 0. So we get the left hand side equal to the right hand side. And that means that both sides of the equation agree, therefore the point minus 1 minus 5 does lie on this circle.